Tucked behind the hills, but only a few kilometers from Sabah's capital city, is Telipok, a resettlement site offered to refugees from the troubled southern Philippines decades ago. After years of waiting, many now have Malaysian identity cards, but the population here hasn't shrunk. Instead, it continues to grow. The wave of those fleeing troubles in the Philippines has not slowed down over the last 40 years, so much so that the Malaysian government has expanded the territory it's given over to those seeking refuge. Which includes men like Abdul Rasak, who is here illegally, but found shelter in the village after arriving from the Philippines five years ago. Life is hard here, but it was harder there. There, we not only couldn't find food, but had to face much danger. Too many people had guns. A sentiment echoed by the vendors in what's now called the Filipino market in the center of Kota Kinabalu. This woman proudly showing she is now Malaysian after over two decades without a state. But most Filipinos are still illegal. In one sense, I always say that we can't blame the, the, these, these people. Uh, maybe their ancestors, their fathers, their grandfathers have been traveling up and down <laughs> from Bintan now to Sabah, you know, and then suddenly here we come along, uh, we, we draw a national boundary uh, along, along in, in, in the waters, you know, the guys say. The guys did the same thing that his father did, he crossed over, uh, his father didn't have to have a passport or anything. The possibility of earning even a few dollars a day is enough for many Filipinos here to choose to stay, despite the constant threat of deportation. When I've been caught, the guards just ask for money, that's how it goes. Those that don't have enough to pay for their freedom end up here, in a deportation center back in the Philippines, alone and broke. But it doesn't mean they'll stay. Most of the deportees here say they are just biding their time before trying their chances in Sabah once more. Margo Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia. Three, two, one. I'm Marga Ortigas in one of the refugee settlements in Sabah, and we'll be reporting on how the endless cycle of illegal migration and deportation between Malaysia and the Philippines has left many stateless.